I wrote a letter to um, Jimmy Lee, who went to Williams College, and I went to Williams College. And when I was trying to find people uh, that were investment bankers to meet with me, I thought that connection might help. And he met with me within two weeks. This is like a cold, cold letter. letter. Like you were just like, hey, I'm making this cold. movie. Help I'm me making out. this movie. I went to Williams. Will you meet with me? And he <laughs> said, yes. He was just that kind of guy. And actually, the film is in memory of him. And um, he was the one who introduced me to Liz. And Liz took the meeting. So, Liz, why did you take the meeting? I mean, that's, that's pretty, into, you know, like, hey, I'm going to make a film. I want to talk to you. I mean, who wants to do that? What, what was the inspiration there for you? Well, certainly, if Jimmy Lee recommended I see someone, that was always usually a good <laughs> idea to follow through. But I was very intrigued by the thought that there was this woman who was interested in portraying Wall Street with a different lens, the lens of powerful women who are successful in dealing with the same challenges and thrills that men in Wall Street movies might have dealt with. So I wasn't sure what the movie would really be about, so I offered myself as a research source. Mm -hmm. And so when we thought about the accuracy of the movie, when I think about the accuracy of the movie, it's really the research that Sarah did around everything from what happens in an IPO bake-off to how does a pricing meeting go, how does the aftermarket work and how do investors behave in the aftermarket? So all of those details I was really interested in sharing because I hadn't seen them portrayed very accurately in prior movies. It's stimulated a really interesting discussion on Wall Street, among women on Wall Street and men on Wall Street, just about themes like how comfortable women might feel asking to be paid what they think they deserve for hard work. Um, just talking about what the challenges and complexities are of getting an IPO right mm -hmm. uh, for, for investor clients and for the issuer client. Um, and also just the discussion around mentorship and sponsorship and maybe what the difference is between those two things and how important it is in accelerating someone's career to have people that fill both those roles for them. And Sarah, you guys kind of did a lot of that on the creative side too. I mean, you made a real effort to have the main players be women on the creative team. You also mentioned to me earlier that the women were paid more than the men in the movie. I mean, talk a little bit about that process as well. Sure. And I think Wall Street and Hollywood are similar in this in that for whatever reasons, there are not enough women in senior positions. And so we just made it a mandate, really, the entire creative team to hire female producers, a female director, female screenwriter, uh, female sound, female production designer, just put more people mm -hmm. in front of the camera um, as women, because why not? Why not? And it but still that, makes a great movie, yeah. And you got picked up by Sony for $3.5 million. Yes, it it's going to uh, open it's nationwide in September. So What's next? So we actually optioned to TriStar the television spinoff based on these female characters, which I'm really excited about because those are women we haven't seen on a television mm -hmm. screen. We have Billions, which was is really successful for Showtime, and I think we can have a, a female version of that.